Hello, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today, we have a really fun collaboration we're doing with four other super creative YouTubers. And we're going to start this out with our last thing thrifted, which is these shutters for me. I got two sets of these shutters for $4. So they basically turned out to be a dollar per section that you're looking at there. So I'm going to take each section apart we're going to do two of these today, and we're going to make some really cool shutters out of these. So some shutter decor. So I cleaned them all up, took all the hardware off, and now I have some Sweet Pickens Mill paint in the color Red Wagon. I love this color. It's like an old antique uh, red that I just, I just love it. I just love it. So you basically, you just take one part water and one part of the powder, and then you mix it all together. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just putting it in a small little, I don't know, Tupperware container. And you want to make just enough what you're going to use for your uh, project, if you can figure that out. Uh, it, this does not store well, so you want to use up what you can. So I do have another project that... Um, that I will be using this on, not in this video, but you will see it because I did have a little bit left over from doing both sides of my shutters and uh, doing those in two coats. So I stirred that up really well and then I, after my shutters were dry from cleaning them, I just started painting. Uh, I'm not looking for full coverage here. I want to see some of the uh, wood tone come through, the darkness come through. I want these to look old and aged, and this milk paint is going to do that. So that's all I'm doing is just doing a nice light coat all over. And again, I'm going to do two coats of this, and it just comes out so cool. Once my shutters were all dry, I went back with some sandpaper and sanded down the edges just along the sides and each slat got a little bit of a sand on the raised parts. Just want to make this look a little bit more distressed and old and I think this did it. So now I'm going to take it outside and hit it with my Rust-Oleum Clear spray paint. Uh, this is going to seal it up a little bit so that It'll be easier to clean and it won't come, come off as easy. So now I'm taking this green garland. I've had this. I got this at a yard sale for like, I don't know, $2. And it was super long and I've just been cutting little pieces off and using it for different projects. And I still have a lot left. So I'm going to cut two of these off the length that I want them to attach them to the fronts of my, my shutters and I'm just going to uh, take them and spread out the branches so that it's flat and nice and full looking. So once I got them all spread out the way that I wanted them, I got it nice and straight and attached it to the front of my shutter with a staple gun. I thought that would hold it the best. Uh, you know, you never know if somebody puts this on their porch and the wind blows. I didn't want to hot glue it. I could have wired it down if you don't have a stapler. You could have done it that way. But the stapler worked really well. Put a couple staples in there to hold it on on the top and a couple for the bottom. And that made it nice and solid to be able to attach all the things that I'm going to attach to it. So I also have this greenery. It's like a little tree. Uh, it's a cedar tree or they're supposed to be little cedar sprigs. I got this off from Timu. I think I got two. It came in a package of two really inexpensively. And I really love using this as a filler for different uh, things that I'm going to do for Christmas, the Christmas season. It's a little bit of a different color green and it's a different texture. So I like mixing the textures. It gives your eye something different to look at besides just the, the garland, the green garland that they're that's on the shutter. So I'm just taking some little sprigs. They're very easy to pull off. You could do this by buying uh, anything like at Walmart or the Dollar Tree 
and just finding different colors and different leaf patterns. And you could just uh, pull the, cut them or pull the little leaves off and use them as just, just something to change what your eye's looking at when it's looking at it. It gives it something else to look at. And I just think it gives it more depth also. And it also fills in spots that don't quite fill in very well. So I did just a couple on each side, and all more than a couple probably, probably five or six on each side of my little swag there. And then I uh, grabbed this bow. It was flat. It was uh, mailed to me flat. I got a whole package of them. I think these came from Timu also. I'll have links down in the description if I can find these products, if you guys are interested. Um, next to nothing for this bow, and it's really cute. And I can't make bows very well for the life of me. I do not like how I make them. I don't like how they come out. But these, all they needed was some fluffing up, which is what I'm doing here. Uh, and it, it came out really nice. So that's on the top of my little uh, shutter here. So as I was looking through my stash, I realized I had these cute little mittens. These are from the, doll the not the Dollar Tree. They are from the Christmas tree shop and that is closed now and we don't have that in our area anymore, which is quite sad. But I must have picked these up last year or the year before when I was shopping there. I thought they were cute and thought I was going to use them in something. And so here's something. This is what I'm going to use them on today. Uh, I They're so cute. It says let it snow on the top one. And uh, I just love the little snowmen. They're my favorite this time of year. So uh, the colors match perfectly and... That it just it just goes perfectly. So I staggered them a little bit so that they would uh, sit a little bit cockeyed from each other and had them kind of hanging, tied them onto the branches, and I added some wire to these little rusty bells. I was going to grubby some up, and I realized I had these rusty bells, so I decided to just go ahead and use those. Then I found this greenery. This These are supposed to be little pine boughs, I guess. Um, it's some kind of a, just a little swag. And I thought, well, wouldn't this be fun to add into this as well? Give it more texture and more depth. I really like how it looked. And I changed the direction of the sprigs. So they went up in the upper direction instead of outward uh, on most of these. So I thought that would add a little bit of difference as well. So here we are building this cute little, this cute little shutter. And the next thing I had was I found a bunch of pine cones. These were from some potpourri I got, uh, probably something I bought at Goodwill. And I added wire to those and tied those on. I keep all that stuff because I may want to use it someday. This other shutter that I have, I'm going to do this one in the snowflake theme. I have this snowflake. I think I got this from Walmart, not really sure. So I'm gonna take what I have for snowflakes and add them to my little shutter here and see what I can come up with. So like I said in the beginning, this is a collaboration of the last thing, Rifted, and it's for the holidays. So there are four other awesome creators from YouTube on here that are creating with me and they will be a playlist that I will have linked down in my description so you'll be able to find the other four creators. They are The Rusted Willow, Shabby Meets Bling, Indie Annie Jones, and Up All Night DIY. I'm honored to be in a playlist with such talented people. Make sure you check out the playlist for fun and inspiring last things thrifted. So of course, just like in the last shutter, I had to add these rusty bells and put some wire on some of these pine cones and add these as well. That brings in the rustic natural element to my little shutter decor. So I 
I also added this wire roll of white pit berries. I'm not sure where I got these. Could have been uh, Dollar Tree wire pips, or it could have been from Hobby Lobby. It's hard to say where I got these. I also put some burgundy red ones on the other shutter. I don't think I showed you that, but I'll show you in the end pictures. So I just wrap this in and out, just weaving it uh, in through the branches, getting them in behind so that they would stay on there really well. And I also wanted them to not pop up too, too badly. I wanted them to kind of hide in amongst that greenery. And I think this was a nice touch to put on these cute little shutters. Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Hope you enjoyed my projects today i will put a link down in the description for anything that i can find that i use today in case you're interested in using them as well but don't forget to check out the playlist last thing thrifted some great talented people on there and it's gonna be a lot of fun and inspiring thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and have a great day